Hari Om, good evening. I am to talk about a technology which I developed by the blessings of God. And uh, to start with, I must convey my pronounce to my Guruji who was very much with me in the development of the process and my students who are with me who are working with day and night to get different developments in the process. Of course, my motto is only sincerity to walk the faith in God takes you beyond limitation. Yes, he has taken me from Madurai to Goa, definitely. So that is the greatness of the environment. Now, I'm from, I started my career as a polytechnic teacher. Many people laughed at me, having got a PhD in chemistry, everyone working in a polytechnic. But that only opened my eyes. Chemistry has got a field of application everywhere I could understand by working in a polytechnic. And from that day onwards, I have classified the concept of research differently. You have two sides of a coin. One is advanced research. The other one is appropriate research. Advanced research, of course, you feel the presence of that. Today, technology has been developed and the technology in development has only increased our environmental hazards and environmental pollution. But appropriate research is not like that. It is useful to the mankind. It should not only be useful, it should be eco-friendly and should be biomimicry. What do you mean by eco-friendly? It should not affect the environment at all. And the technology can be developed from the nature because nature is the greatest scientist which shows the various techniques and therefore using that technique we can develop newer product, newer material which improves our standard of living, not the other one. To show an example, I give one just two things. One is plastic, the other one is uh, paste I put. Plastic is a resource. So it's a friend of human being today. Without plastic we don't live. Even this, they are given this only a plastic. So that's why plastic, we have to live with that. But it is not a waste material, it's a greatest resource. In fact, I introduce myself by one sentence, waste becomes useful because of another waste. The first waste is myself. And that has become useful because another waste is called plastic. So waste is the greatest resource. So convert it into a useful way, so that's the most important, that is eco-friendly method. And I used to, Ask once because idea is very important. He says, Please, how many of you use Colgate? How many of you use Pepsi? Do you know why you use? Do you know why? What preference you have got for Colgate or Pepsi? I have asked hundreds of people this question. Nobody still today answered correctly. Nobody knows. Even the dentist never know what why you should use for Colgate. But I say, don't use calcate because it contains 45% calcium carbonate which pollutes the water every day and everybody polluting water day by day. Can you not ask this question? That start the idea. Why not we have an alternate? So like that, very important is appropriate research. Today, we need to do be Indian by Indian. You can do many, many research necessary to the common man. I don't, I'm not interested in uh, the, uh, the, the technology development. I'm interested. The facility for common man is very, very important. To cite a small example, because one day from Madhya Pradesh, a group of people came to me and asked, sir, we want to crush powder our our wheat, we don't have power. We, do you have any machine, man-made machine? Can we have any facility for that? We suggested a pulley system there. So even in India, even today, that is a condition made. We need to know what you mean by appropriate technology and we need to develop that. With that small introduction, I go to the plastic. You know, plastic, when I say plastic, you see one big waste plastic accumulation everywhere. Every corner you see. And those plastic, they accumulate in the, along the water flow stream and stagnation of water take place and it is going to once on this I, I got the information in Goa itself uh, about 300-400 tons of uh, municipal solid waste they are being collected every day and that means all those things go to municipal solid waste what they do? Do they bury it or do they burn it? Even bury it it will affect the ground. If you burn it, it affects the atmosphere. So you should not do that. You must do something else. What you can do? Plastic has got a wonderful property which I call a binder. 
It is something like a roll that, something like a previous, uh, your um, fevicol, when it is melted. But the molten condition, it acts a beautiful binder. I use this property for developing a new technology called plastic rod. So this technology, of course, was, I had a great fortune of interacting with Abdul Kalam in 2001, who encouraged me from that day till today, he encouraged me. What we are doing here is only reuse the plastic using the binding capacity. With the result, we are having a better road. And by use, because we use the plastic, we save 10% of the bitumen and the cost is less. And therefore, the other organic matter can be converted into manure. And more than that, we have uh, job opportunities for sulfur group. Now, see here, you see the difference of the plastic road and the conventional road. What is the conventional road is nothing but how the road is a very simple take, nothing new I have done, very, very simple. Take the stone, mix it with its bitumen, lay the road. There is a ratio available. That is a conventional road. But the red road, when there is a heavy rain, you see potholes. And when it, heavy traffic is there, you have cracks. Why it happens? When bitumen, water is stagnated over this road. The bitumen, the water penetrates between the stone and the bitumen and uh, the bitumen peels off and the stone comes out. Automatically, the pothole is found. Therefore, what we have developed is called plastic thar road, which in which case, I, what I do is, take the stone, first coat it with the plastic, laminate the stone, at the hot condition, now add the bitumen. The, the, the plastic acts as a beautiful binder between the stone and the bitumen and water never enters, no particle is formed. The strength of the road increases. Therefore, you see a better road. This road we have laid in 2004. Even today you can see this road, it is intact, in nothing happened. Therefore, plastic road gaining more and more of importance. Now, that should be science behind that. What I do is, we, what, what plastic I take? I take a curry bag. Films, bags, thickness of the Zantiamum, thermocool, tea cups, foams, above all, multi layer films, your pan for rack, your biscuit cover, your chocolate cover, wherever all those things, then the multi, multi, cannot, multi layer things cannot be recycled at all, whereas it can be only used in road lay and how tons and tons of waste passes available now. So all this plastic, they are made up of either a polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene only. And they, all this, they soften at 140 to 150 degree. And for road laying, we need a temperature of 170. Therefore, very easily, we can soften the material and it becomes a binder immediately and no gas comes out. The toxic property is not there. We can very well use it for road laying. And see the technology is very simple. Aggregate is nothing but stone. It is as per the IRC coating to make it to 170 degree. I heat it and then at the hot condition, the plastic which I mentioned, namely the carry bag, tea cup, everything, shed into small pieces. The size should be 2 mm to 4 mm only. That's all. Then only when the plastic falls on the stone, it gets melted, can be coated. So that size is that is only condition put. And just add this and the hot aggregate at the plastic. Just it takes 30 seconds only to get beautifully coated. Then add bitumen, your mixture is ready, you lay the road. That road's life not less than 10 years. This is a technology that is developed, this is a technology that we patent because of which has been given importance here also. Very simple technique, very useful technique in the process. See, the whole process I'm showing, the stone is being heated and here cleaning. Normally, I don't want this material to be clean. I don't mean segregation. I want only dry material, waterless dry material. It can be shredded to pieces and the stone is heated there and the shredded pieces comes there. Then the fourth one, the stone is heated to 170 degree. See here the plastic alcohol quantity is added and, uh, and then automatically is coated and then vitamin is added. It is ready now. See the road within 30 second extra time only I have used. Now we have lesser bitumen. For example, if I lay one kilometer road, normal road, normal road needs 10 tons of bitumen. Plastic road, I need only 9 tons of bitumen and 1 ton of plastic. So I reduce the quantity of bitumen consumption and 1 ton of plastic means 10 lakhs carry bags. 
So such a large quantity are carried by just buried in one place, one kilometer. India has got 40 lakh kilometers of road. Imagine what is the quantity of plastic we require for the process. And we reduce the vitamin by the one, the one ten. One ten of plastic costs about 50,000 rupees. And the plastic costs about 5 to 10,000 rupees. Cost wise like maintenance zero. So the environmental friendly and vitamin cost less, total is less in the process. See some of the roads you have laid. We have laid it in 2002 in Madras, Chennai, the most traffic area we laid. You can see today the road. People, there is a report from the paper. We are proud to ride on this road. Even today it is working very well. We go on. From, we have made good for analysis and specification, and the roads are performing very well. And what are the main aspects here? You see, we no need no segregation required. As it is, plastic, collect the plastic, may dry it, shed it, and in situ process. The technology already available. I don't give any technology. Actually, for this, I was offered 300 million dollars by America to get the, they want to get the technology. I said, no, I am giving to my country freely and I am doing till today. Uh, I visit every place and they very simple technology you can lay. So plastic available, dry it, shed it and use it. That is speciality. And then go to the uh, material use, multi-layer films can be used. That's the only technique by which you can use it. And, uh, and in, as I told you, it is in situ, no toxic gas being produced in the process. And the roads are very strong. So normally you have measurement, but uh, there is a martial stability test is there. You apply a load, if, you, if it is 10, 1000 kg, you can use it. Whereas the plastic coated will stand 2500 kg, means that the road is doubly strong and there is no particle formation and it is not affected by radiation, no bleeding takes place during the summer when the temperature is more, bleeding comes out, all this is prevented, therefore it can be very effectively being used. And, uh, in India now, almost Tamil Nadu is a, in the election manifesto so they put you lay plastic load. Now more than 30,000 kilometers already laid in Tamil Nadu alone. And there is a reviews come in central uh, investigation bureau only. And other states, many states have now laid this road. And remember that as I told you, here technology is simple. Plastic is available. The most important aspect, segregation at the source, very important. If it does it, we can very well save this and use it for this purpose. And then, uh, benefits, as I told you, India has got 40 lakh kilometers, of which 25 lakh kilometers rural roads, which are not carried properly. If you, if you lay these 25, 25 lakh kilometers using plastic road, those roads come not less than 10 years. 20,000 kilometers means 20,000, 25,000, 25, uh, 25 lakhs kilometers means 25 lakhs tons of plastic, which means 75 uh, lakhs of 25, 75 lakhs tons of carbon dioxide. We are preventing the entry. That means global, global warming is prevented. We get a better road and cost wise we save 20,000 crores every year in terms of vitamin, in terms of plastic also we are using it. Therefore this technology has very well appreciated by and many 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 states have already implemented. Many countries are asking this technology. I am not yet given, I am giving only to my country to the greater extent. And in addition to that we have developed many other products also. There is another product called Plastone. What I use is only plastic, this stone is taken plastic, nothing, no sand, no vitamin, no cement, no water. I take only stone and plastic in different proportion and heat it and compress it forms a, it is almost something like a brick. It, uh, you can use as a brick, you can use as a tail, it can be used on the compound wall, it can use it uh, as a uh, lining the canal, railway sleepers. It has got innumerable application and you know for every kilo of stone I use not less than 300 grams of plastic. If I use and use it as a pathway block in India, in any of the roads we use, start using it. What we have in India, West Pass is only 10% of what I need, 90% of the plastic. We have to import from other country or use more plastic and give it to me, we can lay it more usefully. And uh, I have been given a lot of importance. I've had, uh, uh, in uh, in uh, yeah, one of the Mumbai journal, my article came and it, it, it was uh, very much welcome throughout the world. So, uh, Satyamaya Jayate made me more famous to the people concerned. The most important aspect of Satyamaya Jayate is, once I take it, a 14-year student 
said i would like to be a student an 80 year old man he told me i am to anybody who says this is fascinated to join me in the work so that is the case of it therefore god has created this technique bruma created plastic so we have to show me the decomposition the mid time lord krishna showed me the technology of road laying that is why we stand now thank you very much